thanks for tuning into my drive-by. I am going to be going over the St. Petersburg Bridge, I-75. I'm going northbound. Um, as you can see the bridge probably in the distance. This is uh, Bob Gray and Sunshine Skyway Bridge. And the North Skyway Fishing Pier is up at the other side. This, there used to be another bridge parallel to this that a hurricane or a ship hit or something. So now they use them for uh, uh, fishing piers. But you can see the bridge in the distance. That's the one going over. It's the St. Petersburg Bridge. Uh, thanks for tuning in to my drive-by. It's 84 degrees right now. Uh, 12 17 in the afternoon, April 6, 2015. Uh, yeah, 84. How about that? I even have my hair on my car. Actually, in Florida, at least me, I always leave my hair on my car. Hey, but this shout I want to give a shout out to everybody on my channel that's watching and you know, has any questions and stuff like that. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, you know, there's really a lot of people out there that got some really good videos. Nice shooting videos and stuff. I'd like to get to do more shooting videos, but I just got so many projects going on and I can't always get to the range. But I do have some projects, and I guess I guess that's the name of the video, Project Guns. I've got some Project Guns coming down the lane. Uh, I have a HK 45 uh, Project Gun that I'm working on now. And that's going to look pretty cool. I'm going to have a uh, Ported barrel, titanium gold, and I'm going to have some, some windows in it. And I'm going to redo the slide and the slide releases in the titanium black. So that should look good coming down the line. It's going to look really good. Uh, I had my Glock, my titanium Glock I had. Uh, getting the slide completely redone, getting a lot more openings and cutouts for it. And that should be really nice when it gets back. I'm going to have an RMR cutout for it too with suppressor sights. It should really look good. So that's on a project. Uh, I'm in the process of transitioning a few of my guns I'm going to be selling. I'm going to be getting rid of them uh, because I purchased some other guns and I need the cash. But isn't that usually what it's always about? Buying and selling, selling and buying. Because that kind of keeps the world going around, right? Uh, it does. But uh, I hope everybody's doing great today. And uh, why don't we go ahead and kind of start our drive-by. Today I want to really discuss um, a few things. Uh, you know, will there ever be a 500 Magnum pistol? I know a guy that's working on it. Used to be an engineer. How about that? Wouldn't that be cool? That would blow you away. Uh, that'd probably be a pretty heavy gun, too. Also, you know, how much heavier is the Desert Eagle than the Prismatic Dueler? Now, if you're comparing them, you would have to compare the Prismatic Dueler to the older Desert Eagle. Pre-2015 ones, Mark 19, not the newer ones that they shorted, you know, that's uh, an inch, like light, uh, like four ounces, five ounces lighter, and the barrel is an inch shorter. And I say inch shorter, yes, because the inch integrated mu muzzle brake is not really part of the barrel. It does not do anything for velocity or foot-pounds of energy because it's dissipating the gases and actually slowing the barrel. So your older ones that had the six inch barrel and then they add a muzzle brake would be uh, almost seven inches. So you had a true six inch barrel. Whereas the newer ones are six inches with an inch of muzzle brake, they're really five inch barrels. So I just want to get that straight so you know. Sort of like the Smith & Wessons, the four inch ones really are only three inch barrels. So you have three inches to dissipate and burn up all that powder. Uh, in that barrel, and you know, that goes with the same thing with the Desert Eagle. How they would perform? Will they perform better? That is something that probably remains to be seen. We'll have to figure it out. Maybe 
maybe I should take out my uh, titanium tiger and take out a new desert eagle and see which one has a little bit more uh, recoil. I don't know. It'd be interesting to do that study. What else? Well, I guess another thing is um, what's a better gun 1911 to own? you want a 1911, uh, a, a high-end one, or a low one? And let's say it really wouldn't matter money. If it didn't matter money, you'd probably buy the 1911. The higher-end ones, they have a little more features done to them, tolerances are tighter, resale's higher. Basically, that's what it is. But, I wanted to go through a few things and show you kind of some of the scenery. This is St. Petersburg. Well, thanks for tuning in to my drive-by uh, St. Petersburg. I'm coming into it in one minute here. Uh, this says it's in the city limits now. We'll stay on this video until you see where it says welcome to St. Petersburg. There's a, like a thing that comes up and it says uh, welcome to St. Petersburg. Park is 16 miles. Tampa International Airport is 26 miles. Tampa's 30 miles? Going this way. Interesting. Hmm. Tampa's 30 miles. So we're going to be almost in Tampa. Alright. And uh, I, think, I think we have to wait a little bit longer before we really get into see the St. Petersburg. Uh, Saturday. We just got through it. Bridge. I think it's right over this bridge. We're supposed to get in the left lane if, you, if they're doing construction or something on the right, you can get into Skyway Lane, Pinellas Point, makes it 16. But yeah, it's, it's really beautiful in Florida. It's always freaking hot. I'm sitting in a car with air conditioning on. Underneath my under and my arms are sweaty. So, you know, it's always hot. But 99% of the time, it's warm. In Florida. And, um, we're in St. Petersburg already. I guess uh, we got past the, the thing that says St. Petersburg. It's like a big. Uh, State trooper over there. And they usually don't bother you. You know, they're not going to pull you over in Florida unless you're really doing something dumb. At least I really have it. It's a car accident. But uh, I'm not sure where that uh, thing for the entrance is, so I'm not going to worry about it. But thanks for tuning in to my drive by. And this is St. Petersburg, Florida. Seventeen says wants me to go northbound Tampa, so I'd be taking over here this way. So I see went through St. Peter's. St. Petersburg was faster. That's the only reason the uh, GPS took me that way. I went through St. Petersburg to get to. I'm going to Tampa International Airport, and that's in Tampa. I guess it's West Shore Boulevard. So this is taking me this way. I think we went proper. We went in th through St. Petersburg, but we didn't go St. Petersburg proper. If you go right in there, uh, then there's that uh, big, like, uh, pillar that says, Welcome to St. Petersburg. We kind of just went through part of it. Well, thanks a lot for tuning in, and uh, have a great day. A pink on my left. See that? A pink tow truck. Okay, I guess so. A1. A1 recovery. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. And um, it is 82 now. 
Yes, we dropped it in two degrees. Was it 84 before? We are further north, so. But, you know, what the hell. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, guys.